Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribers around the world. Back again, man. Take a little slow and easy this morning. Your kind of background, he wants to play. This morning, I think we're gonna go out and do a little. It'll take you long too. Gonna go out and do a little fishing. Probably some rock out and stuff. So the next video videos will probably take you long for that. Got behind on these dang things, so I'm gonna try to get them back in the schedule of having one on in the morning. Just uh, crazy times, man. Crazy times. My birds don't know it though. I love getting them to come around. They used to come right to me. Until all these cats showed up. What you think, man? Got some seed over there, dude? I love them birds. I just love them birds. I just love them birds. I just Sparrows, man, aren't they amazing? I love all the birds. Got a pair of, uh, it's funny because I, man, I'll look out the window and try to catch them, you know, see them down here because I just want to catch them on video, but a pair of wood ducks that keep coming down, hanging out over here. Man, I'll look out the window before I come out a few times, you know, to try to see if I can sneak up and get some footage of them. And, and then when I don't think about it, I just come bopping around, man. They take off out of here. You know, wood, duck, wood ducks actually uh, nest in trees. Wood ducks are awesome, man. That's my favorite. Those are my favorite ducks. How are you guys doing out there in this hermit order? Pretty wild, man. Honestly. I've said it before. Honestly, man, we've been on... I've been under a, her a hermit order for many years, so other than when I venture out to a populated area, I don't really notice it all that much, you know. It's, you know, other other than man, it's yard sale season. That part I miss, and the, you know, I'm junking, but man, we just have been focusing more on uh. You know, the junk piles and stuff that we know, so other than being able to go, I do miss the, do miss the yard sales. I'm curious about the, uh, you know, we were planning on going over to Sumter, Oregon for the big flea market Memorial Day. Then I really don't, uh, I don't think there's going to be no flea market over in Sumter, Oregon, at least the first one. But we'll see, uh, we shall see, I reckon. Then I really think, man, you just, you know, I'm sure all y'all, too, are thinking it, you know, is, uh, what's the new norm going to be, you know, once this thing, once we all get through this and they lift the, um, you know, lift the stay-at-home orders and people and stuff, man, are people going to, you know, be wearing masks and, you know, I mean, it's crazy, man, it's, Makes me very curious to what the you know, what the world's gonna be like, or the not really the world world ain't changing, but the uh, society, humans, human reactions. <laughs> humans are a interesting sort, to say the least. It's supposed to be close to seventy degrees today, man. I'm digging it. Yeah, so. This kid is getting ready. The kids are getting ready. Gonna meet up, man. It's somewhere along the way. We ain't going too far away from the creek bottom. Let's go down to one of the little lakes and uh, send them always rock out and stuff like that. And then the next few days, I'll probably go back up to the up to the dump. Then I got some building and stuff I want to do. And then you can see. Right here, 
Whoops, this one. That, uh, that's that old farming implement chute that I picked up out of a field years ago. And when I found it, I was like, well, this thing looks like a sluice box, man. So uh, then I just found that piece of grape. I'm actually going to cut it, and I'm going to kind of design and put together a heavy mother. I wanted to pour it around and stuff, but any claims or anything I have, I'll take it to. Just wouldn't want to try to put that on a backpack and pack it around. That's quarter inch steel. Nice. I'm kind of playing with that. I got so many things going on around here that it's just crazy. You can hear them, man, the, the trucks, the amount of semis on the road uh, today is, you know, and the, the leaves haven't filled in in the creek yet. It's starting to pop, though. And once the leaves, you know, it kind of mumbles out the other than when it kind of comes up through the creek. It ain't open at it right now. Pretty exciting. <laughs> <coughs> That's their plan for today. <clears throat> Had my mom asking me where uh, she gets up and watches the morning videos too. Said which I when I originally made these was for my grandkids and stuff like that. And then it was nice because my mom can see our day-to-day -day stuff. What's up, guy? Go. Go, go, go. Go swim, man. There's a dog. That one never stops, dude. I wish I just had that much of his... I wish I could bottle it and sell it. His energy, man. I'd be rich. But, uh... That's, yeah, when I started the videos, you know, I said, man, it was for my grandkids to be able to watch I'd love to be able to click onto YouTube or pull up something on the thing and see my grandpa and hear his laugh and stories and all that, man, that'd be so awesome. Then it's just turned out, man, seven years later, here I am, still sitting next to Create Talk to you. <laughs> Oh, they're starting to bloom too. Everything, man. I'm telling you. By the end of this week, I would say, and that's actually, I need to do my our uh, morel report, you know, our morel mushroom report that we do every year at the beginning of the season. Um, <laughs> I just went swimming. <laughs> but, uh, she all wet, man. Uh, these temps. Man, we're supposed to get what you want, man. I've said it a hundred times, man. The perfect temps for mushrooms, for morel mushrooms. Perfect temps is 60 during the day and 40 overnight lows. And now we're supposed to get right there. So if they, they hang tough, uh, which I've already been out looking a couple times. Because we, you know, we got morel, or morels. We got morels on the creek bottom here, too. The blondes. So I've actually, yesterday, went and hiked around and... Uh, didn't see nothing, seen a bunch of LBMs and stuff like that, so it's coming, man. I'd say a little over a week, and we should start finding some rails, you know, up the mountain, right on the right on the tree line, I'm guessing, or even a little bit lower. I feel sure it will take you long for that, too. But mainly, man, I just want to get on here and check on y'all. I hope you all are doing well. And, you know, like I say, it's Stay, stay at home and stay away from humans as much as possible. Um, it's a crazy world, dude. Crazy world. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. It helps keep the lights on the home fires burning. The propane tanks, folks. Go and check out the link. I didn't bring that dang rock out here again, so I'll clip it in here. Make sure you get your postcards in for that. We'll be doing a drawing of that for the end of the month. And then I'll go over to Mountain Junkers and like and subscribe. We'll be doing a drawing over at Mountain Junkers too for a Mountain Junkers t-shirt. Um, over there, you got to go over there for the details we're doing. And send in a state quarter. Uh, we only got maybe a half dozen of them in so far, man. So, so your odds of winning a t-shirt over at Mountain Junkers pretty good right now. Found a pretty pass full. I'll have to do a video where we show the uh, postcards and stuff, man. Just got one, another one from uh, 
don't quite know where um, Debbie and Max are getting all these Idaho postcards. They sent me one from Lava Hot Springs, which Lava Hot Springs, man, it's an old postcard, probably 50s, 1950s. And that's where my grandma was raised, over at Lava Hot Springs area. So that's you know, my whole, I got a lot, man, my grandpa's from Shelly, Idaho, and a lot of family over in eastern, eastern Idaho over there. That's it, man. So, good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. Damn!